Hi. This book, um, if you uh, saw my other video, I picked up at um, a second-hand bookshop in Newark when I went off to have a look at their literary festival the other week. Maggie O'Fowl, I've told you before, I, I started to love Maggie O'Fowl after reading I Am, I, I, I Am and Hamnet and I saw this in the second-hand bookshop so I just had to pick it up. The Vanishing Act of Esme Lennox and I was not disappointed. I was not disappointed at all. It's the story of Esme Lennox and she has been in an institution for over 60 years and that gives you an idea that this is going to be a heartbreaking story and it is, it's haunting, it's heartbreaking. In Scotland in the 1930s, this is where part of the story begins, Esme is a child who is inventive, she's independent, she's feisty, she is everything that her sister Kitty is not and her parents despair of her because she is not a good child like Kitty and she ends up being put in an institution and there she stays. The book tells you that the place where she has been living for the past 60 years, the home is being closed so all the residents are having to find other accommodation and Iris who has a little vintage shop she gets a phone call saying that her great aunt is being released. Iris never knew that she had a great aunt. Her grandmother Kitty told everyone she was an only child. There was no record anywhere of Esme. Nobody talked about her. And so Iris didn't really believe what what the story was. I haven't got a great aunt. But there's the documents. Um, Kitty is listed as next of kin. So yes, she is. And she ends up meeting Esme. And because she was due to take Esme somewhere else, which didn't work out, she has Esme stay with her. The story is told through Iris's eyes, Esme's eyes and Kitty's eyes. So you have three perspectives. And the story jumps backwards and forwards. We are taken to India where Kitty and Esme were before they moved to Scotland. So we have events in India. We have events as um, Esme's growing up before she gets institutionalised. And we have Kitty's recollections as well. And Kitty is suffering from Alzheimer's, so her narrative jumps all over the place. But you can pick out the threads of the story within it from what she remembers, from what she talks about. And each has a secret. Each of the three women has a secret. And there's guilt as well. Secrets and guilt. But the cruelty that Esme suffers, even from her parents as a child, is absolutely heartbreaking. And then you get the way she's treated in the institution and everything that she lost by being in this institution for 60 years. A really, really haunting story. And I loved it. And yet again, Maggie O'Farrell has delivered another cracking book, so I need to find the next one of her backlist. So, The Vanishing Life of Esme Lennox. You'll be haunted by it. Esme will stay with you. 
pick it up. So, happy reading. Take care. Bye.